I can beat him to it. We gotta get this stuff out of here. Wait a minute. I hear a clock ticking. We must have placed a time bomb to set off this dynamite. We've got a point. Let him go. Doctor, there was a couple. Keep I was... quiet, Mike, will you? To help us with these boxes. Yeah, I know, but there was a guy. Uh... Come on. I've got it. Except for three o'clock. Come on, we've got to get it out of here. She's due now. I was trying to tell you. A couple of guys jumped me outside. Get back. It's our only chance. But what are you going to do? Get back! Let's get to the plane. Seems to me there was an X in front of us. X means experimental. Must be an experimental plane. Low wing mono, five and a half dihedral. There's a slight angle of incident. That's about it. Looks very efficient to me. Thanks, Mac. Okay. Here we are, Dick. How does it look to you? That's the way I saw it. Right to scale. Look familiar, Mike? Yeah. Call the National Aircraft Company, Gwen. Now we'll find out who makes this plane and trace it down. Sit down, Mr. Tracy. It looks like the model, all right, but you must be mistaken. The plane you saw simply couldn't have been the type. Why, only four of these planes were ever made. One was wrecked during test flight, 
The other three have never been flown. Well, we must be mistaken, Dick. Thank you very much, Mr. Carson. We're making a test flight with our number two ship in a few minutes. Of course, these are designed for the government, but as government men, you're very welcome to view it. Thanks. We'll have a look. Come with me. It's designed to climb faster and higher than any plane yet made. Certainly looks efficient. You'll excuse me, I have some final instructions from my pilot. Certainly. I still believe it was a plane like this one that we saw. Something fishy somewhere. I'm going to stow away on this test flight. I might find something. You cover up for me. Right. And our test pilot. Mr. Lockwood is from the Federal Bureau of Investigation. How do you do? Howdy. Where's Mr. Tracy? Why, uh, he had to leave. Left his thanks for your courtesy. Hmm, I'm sorry. Well, Brand, all set? Yes, sir. Plenty of oxygen? Fresh tanks. Shoot okay? Yes, but I don't think I'll need it today. I hope not. Well, off you go. Good luck. I'll do my best, sir. your climb. Very pretty. Circle the town a couple of times so you'll have plenty of witnesses. But fly high so they can't spot the tights. And don't forget to call when you land.
eight feet. I think I know who it was. It must have been Tracy again. It's Brand. Everything worked perfectly, just as planned. Yes, listen. We're pretty sure that Dick Tracy was in your plane. Dick Tracy? Pete discovered him. There was a fight. Leave it to me. I'll lie like a trooper and put Tracy right on the spot. Right. What do you make of it? There's no doubt about it. Stark is stealing government planes from Karsten. But how? Simple enough. I think that test pilot Brand switches planes. He turns the government ship over to Stark and then wrecks a decoy plane of similar appearance. Shouldn't we grab Brand? No, he's small fry. By keeping our eyes open and playing dumb, we'll get onto the trail of Stark. He's the man we're after. It all sounds very irregular, but I've assured Mr. Tracy that there must be some logical explanation. There is. You see, I had just passed 16,000 feet. Everything going beautifully when I discovered a leak in the outside oil line. Union's too light? That's it. We'll double the size in the other models. So I spot a good open field over near Sierra Bonita, and I sat down to fix the leak. But the two mechanics there, were you expecting trouble? Of course not. A private plane from Glendale made a forced landing there this morning. Those two mechanics were sent out from the factory to get the ship going. They were just starting back in their car when I dropped down. There, you see. With their help, I fixed the leak in a jiffy and was just about to take off when I discovered this, discovered Mr. Tracy hiding in a tail. Did you see or hear anything that conflicts with Brand's statement? No. I couldn't see from where I was and the roar of the motors. I'm afraid, Mr. Tracy, that your imagination ran away with you. You G-men are so in the habit of uh, suspicioning everyone. I might have been mistaken. You were when you thought you saw one of our ships at Mount Wilmot. I think he's right, Dick. Let's forget it. I'll vouch for Brand. He's a swell pilot and above any suspicion. Thanks, Mr. Carson. Now, Brand, how about that accident? Well, she was handling perfect. I was just over the beach at Edgeware and climbing nicely when I saw a trickle of gas across the floor. How come? Well, I checked the fuel line, and sure enough, the tube was cracked and bent. Next moment, there was a burst of flame, and I bailed out right then. <laughs> I'm mighty glad you escaped, but how do you count for the break? Well, I don't like to say. Come on, let's have it. All right, I will. When I was trying to eject Mr. Tracy, one of us must have kicked or fallen against the tubing and cracked it. Well, Mr. Tracy. I was assigned to this case, Mr. Karsten, and I've got to follow it through. Well, if you're still suspicious, how about coming along with me tomorrow on the test flight? We are testing number three, aren't we? Definitely. We have only three days left to cinch that government contract. Of course, two of this model have cracked up, but I'm sure you'd be safe tomorrow. I'll be with you. Okay, see you then. Brand. Yeah, what is it? I didn't think he'd have the crust, but he's going up with me tomorrow. Perfect. Here's where we get rid of Tracy permanently. I'm not going to get my neck stretched by that guy. You don't have to. Now, here's what you do. When you take off tomorrow... What's this? Order two full tanks of oxygen. Want to be sure we have plenty. That's right. Can't have anything go wrong today. Which is the oxygen and which is the anesthetic? The one with the brown band will put him to sleep. Dick, I hate to see you make this flight. Forget it. It's all in the day's work. Happy landing. Right. We're waiting for you, Mr. Tracy. All set. Those are the oxygen tubes. We'll need them in about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. 